this is a little update to my original green light video. Uh, I'm going to cover three things. One is uh, a disclaimer and warning. And number two is where I got my basic information from. And number three is um, the differences in the charging ports that I believe uh, cause a problem. So the warning is you got to be careful when you do this modification because apparently there's a couple of different uh, Ryobi mowers out there. Uh, apparently uh, Ryobi had made a change to the charging port and uh, this, this modification uh, for the green light does not work on all Ryobis. And I think I, I know, kind of know why, but uh, I can't be sure because I don't know what the guts of the charging ports are doing, but Ryobi changed something. The mod works for mine and it's worked for other people. And uh, I did get a couple of uh, comments back saying, oh, it didn't work for mine and uh, it melted down my charging port. And I'm thinking, what? Um, but it's true because I helped uh, Jesse do the swap battery swap on his to lithium and his did the same thing. And it goes up like quick. So that's the warning. So be cautious and you can listen to uh, where I got the information from. I'll put, um, well, I'll put a little screenshot here from the uh, Ryobi repair manual that I got the clues on what to do to run the jumper. But that's where I got the information from on making this modification. Now, a little bit of the history on what I discovered was uh, I eventually took the green light video down from YouTube uh, until I could get a better handle on what was going on. I uh, went to help Jesse swap his out. When we were all done, we took my plug, which successfully worked with my mower, and plugged it into his and this thing was just a cloud of smoke and burning uh, rubber and plastic and we were pulling everything apart to, to get it unplugged and I think what really killed it was I finally unplugged the gray plug on the battery at that time and that stopped the, the smoke. Uh, so what we did was we took my charging port out, put it into his mower and then I was gun shy to even try the whole charging port thing anymore. Then I had to get another charging port and I uh, ordered two different charging port. One was the, the Easy Go charging port, which I put into mine. And I also ordered a Ryobi charging, charging port. And this one looked, on the outside, looked like my old one. But on this side here, it looked just like Jesse's. And it, um, if you look at uh, this picture, this is what the backside of mine looks like. It's got three chrome screws in it. Uh, screwed into this side, into the back side. This one here doesn't have those green screws. It's just molded in. The electrical is all molded in. There's no connectors, plugs, nothing to remove. This is the one that gets smoked. So what you got to do is you've got to pull your charging port out and see which charging port you have. So you take out these four screws. I only have three left. And I believe and this is at your own risk, I believe that if you have this type of charging port with the three chrome screws, and you can take these three chrome screws out and this whole plug comes out, if you have this, you can do this green light modification. I think it works with this one, it worked with my old one, and they had the three screws. It does not work with this one. So if you have... This plug on your mower, I would not recommend trying this green light mod. If you have this kind of plug, give it a shot. <laughs> but when it, when it melts and burns, it goes really fast. And it'll take out your charging port. A new charging port, if you can find a Ryobi one, is in the area of $60. And uh, if you want to go the easy go uh, plug, that takes a lot of modifications. But I got a video on that if you want to try that. And these plugs are only, uh, or these ports uh, are only like... Um, uh, 30 35 dollars so that being said now i'll continue with the original uh, video that shows how to do the green light modification to your lithium charger this one here you take this apart and modify it with a little jumper wire and uh, that'll follow right now so good luck with whatever you want to try to do it's working for me i'm sorry it didn't work for some other people but i didn't know and, uh, and like I said, my, my plan was on my mower, it worked. 
and based on that Ryobi uh, repair manual. So here comes the video. Good luck and thanks for watching. This video is how to rewire the connector on your battery charger so that when you plug it in, it turns the green light on on the Ryobi mower and disables the mower from moving until this is unplugged. So the change that we make is this is the positive, this is the negative for the charger. This port's not used on the uh, uh, battery charger. So you run a jumper wire from this connector to this connector, so it sees 48 volts at this, uh, at this connection. And that's... So I've opened up the connector. <clears throat> There's uh, four screws and four nuts. <clears throat> this side here is inside with the nuts. They're kind of captured. So you can uh, just unscrew it with a Phillips head. And uh, then it's a little tough to pop this open. It looks like, uh, you, well, it's a little tough to pop it open. You have to do pry on it a little bit to get it open. That gets that off. And there's the two leads going into the connector. As I said, there's two wires and one goes to each of those lower connectors. Uh, the upper connector is very clearly has nothing connected to it. So I'm gonna connect that to the positive side of the charger, which... So I've taken the uh, plug apart on the, from the uh, battery charger and I, then I took the plug apart with the four screws and the four nuts. And these uh, connectors came out very easily from here. They slide right back in here. And this one here is going to go in. Is, this is the one that I uh, soldered a jumper wire from the brown wire <clears throat> to the third connector. So that one's going to go down here below. I'll slide that one back in first. So I'm going to slide my little brown wire in there, big brown wire here, and blue wire there. And they've got to be pushed in all the way because there's a keeper that's going to keep it in. So I've still got to rotate this, uh, the small one here in the bottom. So I'm going to get some uh, tools and uh, get that rotated around. And uh, looks like the uh, connectors have to be seated all the way into this point here. So I've got to get this one pushed back in there a little further. So now we can see that <clears throat> I've got all three of these uh, connectors in. You have to get these uh, edges have to be up to the edge of the plastic so that the cover will fit in because the cover's got some uh, interlocks here that will mate up or uh, cause uh, make sure that these plugs don't uh, slide out. So you gotta make sure that you have them back that far. Then it's just a matter of putting the, the cover on. It slides, slides in and down and just put the screws and the nuts back in. All right, so just want to double check here, make sure that uh, I've got uh, 54 volts here, it's positive. So the positive lead is on the uh, left-hand side as we're looking here, red. And we'll take our rewired connector plug from the charger and we'll go ahead and plug that in. And now the green LED light goes on, which means that uh, the mower thinks it's got a charger plugged into it and it shouldn't move. So when we come over to the key, we turn it on, nothing happens. Interestingly enough, I'm going to unplug the plug. Green light is off. And now the power went on. Thanks for watching my video and I hope it was helpful for you.